Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the Air Shuttle version 2. This version has been redesigned to be more durable, more wind resistant and highly visible outdoors. We've absolutely loved playing with it and we're now going to talk about some key characteristics of why it's great to play air badminton with. So the Air Shuttle weighs 8.2 grams. This is significantly heavier than an indoor feather or plastic shuttle, which both weigh around five grams. It also has these five pillars and small holes, allowing air to travel through to further improve its wind resistance. Both of these features allow for a truer flight path through the air, as well as increased wind resistance. We wouldn't even bother trying to play outside with a standard plastic or feather shuttle. The big advancements from the previous version is the durability. This is now made from a nylon material to last longer. And as you can see, it's very rigid. I'm squeezing this quite hard here and the structure isn't moving. We've just finished playing with this air shuttle for over an hour now. And as you can see, it's not broken at all. Another big change is the color. The Air Shuttle version 2 is now in this neon red. Again, definitely an improvement to the original purple as we rarely lost it in the sunlight. One thing that's not changed is the recommendation to play with a lower string tension, between eight and nine kilos or 17.5 to 20 pounds, and to use a thicker string. Following both of these will massively reduce the chance of you breaking any strings when playing air badminton. And of course, air badminton is obviously different to indoor badminton in that wind will play a factor. Whilst it's strongly recommended that you play with wind speeds of less than 12 kilometers an hour, you'll almost need to play with the wind and react to changes in the flight path of the shuttle. And this is all part of the fun. Come on. Air badminton is a fun new way to play our sport. And because the air shuttle is heavier, it's harder to play net shots. And this is why the dead zone has been introduced to make the shuttle stay on the court longer and have more entertaining rallies. Another reason as to why the dead zone has been introduced is to eliminate deep lunges on outdoor surfaces and limit potential injuries. To watch videos on the rules of Air Bampton and our video on how to settle the court, make sure you check out the links below. So as well as being great fun and a great workout, Air Bampton is a way to make our sport more accessible for everyone around the world, not relying on indoor facilities and simply needing an air shuttle and some rackets, and ideally a net and some court markings if you're serious. Now the next step, play.